Hello and welcome to another video from Simon Security Expert. Today I'm installing an Ajax Hub 2 Plus. So first of all, we need to get rid of some of the equipment. It's a Texacom, can you believe it? The wireless stuff has been too unreliable on this system, so we're swapping it out for the customer. Let's get rid of the door contacts on the front and back door. We do also have a lot of motion sensors around this house, so it really is well covered. Come to the keypad. The keypad's actually been really reliable. Maybe a bit dated now in terms of looks, but they really are good in terms of reliability for the wired stuff on a Texacom, which I've always said, um, hopefully the new wireless stuff is just as reliable, but for the moment, I'm doing Ajax. There's me in the window. Sometimes I forget how silly I look with that thing around my neck. And this is it, Ajax Hub 2 Plus, and this is going onto the house. So let's get the ladders off. It actually looks like a really nice day here, and it was. I was actually in shorts for the first time all year. Not really out of choice, more out of necessity, because I forgot to do the washing, but oh well. It wasn't too cold, and I didn't have to wear a woolly hat. So let's get the old sounder down. This is made by CQR. This has been really reliable, really good. We used to install a lot of these. We don't much anymore, but they give us no problems. Let's cut the piezo away so I don't deafen myself while I'm actually working on this. And one thing I remembered when I was taking this down is the length of screws that I used to put this up about seven or eight years ago. My word, so it took a little while to take down. But off it comes so we can get ready to get the next one up. But we'll take this down and throw this away first of all. Made it down in one piece. Let's take down some more sensors. Please, God, don't let me damage the TV. But I didn't, so all good. Love that for me. So here we go, taking down the lounge PIR sensor. I think it was about six or seven PIRs in total and two door contacts. This one's in the dining room. There'd be no way you'd get past anything on this alarm. It really is well covered. So we just unlike for like, as I said, on the, uh, on the sensors. There we go. And pick that bit up. Always remember to clean up as you go. It's very important. Throw that away. And I think this may have been the last sensor I was on to take down before starting to put up the new Ajax Hub Plus equipment, uh, which is a Wi-Fi panel. Then I nearly accidentally threw my terminal screwdriver away. On this one, I thought I'd include it. Oh, so it was the second to last. I thought I'd include it because this hanging basket, okay, that was put up after our install otherwise i would have never thought that was a great place to put a pir but if you want a job there you go guys got offered one take that number down from that recruitment agency and hope it's not a scam and take whatever job that might be just no good for me so let's get the texacom 64 wireless taken down because we're going to be putting our panel in the understairs cupboard this did leave a lot of holes because of all the holes that were there to mount all these pieces of equipment by the end of the install, I filled them all so there was no damage or anything left to the wall. Let's get that all in the bin. The Hub Plus is a lot smaller than the panel that was previously in there. So it doesn't take anywhere near as much room. The Smartcom was in good nick, so I'm going to keep hold of that. And this is the keypad, the touch keypad. Let's get this mounted. It's really good. This is the Plus version, so it auto wakes up when you're arriving in and when the system's starting to unset. You don't really want to have to wake the keypad up when it's uh, when the system is starting to unset. So let's mount the back plate for it. And this is the panel. Looks the same as the other one in terms of, yeah, it looks exactly the same. Let's get the SIM into it so it's got its dual path. That's good because if your Wi-Fi ever goes down or your internet on site ever goes down, it's got another line of communication. You have to plug it into the router first, program it with the Wi-Fi, or the SIM, and then you can take it out of the router and take it to wherever you need to, and then it's got its wireless connection. And this is one of the contacts. This one is for the front door. I do think these look great, and they work really well, but then I got a stone in my shoe, so I needed to get that out, because I was in pain for about 10 minutes. I don't know why I just didn't get it out straight away, to be honest, but oh well, probably couldn't be bothered on doing my shoelaces. So here we go screwing up onto the conservatory door to put on the, the, one of the two door contacts. These were all tested afterwards as well, and they worked absolutely fantastic, as they always do. So far, I haven't had a piece of faulty equipment from Ajax. Can't knock them. Here I'm getting a glass of water. The customers are really lovely people, and they did actually offer me coffee. They're probably that, they're that nice that they probably would have made me food if I'd asked for it, which I obviously never would. But I'm having to fast today because I've got some tests to do at the hospital shortly. And there I am. Let's give a wave. So just water for me today, which was 
awful getting till 3 p.m. after not having any food, but we made it and I'm still here. So there's one of the PIRs going up. And let's go for the sounder as well. We're going to pop this into place, make some new drill holes for the new mounting position. And when you put this sounder in, it will just slot into place as you slide it. And there is a little screw underneath as well, which I did put in and tighten up. I could have done with filming this a little bit better. This is when I was filling around the keypad just to tidy it up and make it look pretty. Um, but I was a bit too preoccupied actually doing the work. Wash your hands so you don't get anything all over the customer's stuff. And then that is job done, all done and dusted and with a happy customer. Thanks for watching, guys.